In today's demo, we're going to talk about Contoso Azure based unified operations and specifically the way Contoso are performing monitoring for their Azure resources. Contoso just bought Woodgrove Bank and Woodgrove Bank has multiple IT assets, including VMware virtual machines and Kubernetes clusters deployed in Google Cloud Platform. The IT department at Woodgrove Bank are performing their VMware monitoring using the vSphere client interface that you're seeing right here. In Google Cloud Platform, we can see a couple of Kubernetes clusters hosting Woodgrove Bank web and e-commerce applications. And the IT department at Woodgrove Bank are performing monitoring for these clusters using the Google Cloud Platform monitoring interface. So as you can see, the IT department are facing a challenge. They have two interfaces. One, the vSphere client for VMware monitoring, and the other one is the Google Cloud Platform console for Kubernetes monitoring. Contoso, who just bought World Groove Bank, are now the owner of these IT assets. And using Azure Arc-enabled Kubernetes and Azure Arc-enabled servers, they are able to extend the Azure Resource Manager control plane and bring those IT assets and project those as first-class citizens inside Azure. If I'll go to one of these Azure Arc enabled servers, again, this is the VMware virtual machine that we're seeing right here. Under the insights view, we are able to see uh, some performance and telemetry coming from that machine. The first view is the map view showing the ports being used by that virtual machine and how it interacts with it. And also some important metadata coming from that machine. In the performance tab, we can see performance metrics and telemetry coming from that machine. So this is the same view that Contoso would have had on an Azure based virtual machine. Now it has it on an Azure Arc enabled server. In addition, you can see policies, update management, inventory and change tracking. So really everything that Contoso need in order to perform unified operations against resources that are deployed outside of Azure, but now being projected as first class citizen. I'll switch back to the Contoso resource group and we can see the Kubernetes clusters that are now onboarded as Arc enabled Kubernetes clusters. And I'll click on one of those clusters and I'll go to the insights view. Now using Azure monitor for containers, we are able to see performance metrics coming from uh, the Kubernetes clusters deployed outside of Azure. This is the same view that Contoso would have had on AKS clusters deployed as first class citizen native offering inside Azure. So we can see some performance metric coming. If I'll switch to the containers view, we can see some uh, performance metrics coming from those specific containers deployed on the cluster. Under the nodes view, we can see some important telemetry coming from that cluster deployed in, in Google Cloud Platform. So again, really everything that Contoso needs in order to start looking at resources deployed outside of Azure inside Azure and perform unified operations on top of those. So in this demo, we showed you how resources that are deployed outside of Azure can be brought using Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes and Azure Arc enabled servers into Azure and being projected as first class citizens to support unified operations at scale. Thank you.